Hey there guys, welcome back to Kilted Gamers. We're back in Life is Strange. Uh, and basically we just spent some time in the new reality with Chloe, who basically got caught up in a car crash and now can't feel anything and is a bit down with life. Whole last episode was a bit depressing, so hopefully this time it'll cheer up a bit. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. <laughs> okay. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. <laughs> A weirdly specific line. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. He was it. I wish it was. Me too. This he photo. Maybe I could. Yeah. You can. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along. And I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. What if I can't change it? What if I can't change it? I can't go middle ground. I don't want to. No. No, I can't do that. Christ. I can't do that. I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain. But I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will, right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. Chloe. I am never leaving you again. Get the picture. Just get. I'm sorry, William.
Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. <laughs> Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the square jar. You mean you're Don't burn it. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. I suppose it'll stop you from being tempted to either go, ever go back. That makes all of us. Ah, uh, well, I'd like to go out one line. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like, you're never gonna see us again. <laughs> Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever yeah. happens, I want you to be strong, even if you feel like I wasn't there for you, because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back, always. God, now where are we? Chloe, you're back. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, now you're all over me? <laughs> I'm just... I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. Well. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. Okay. Back to normal. Fine, Rachel. So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. These three main uh, things. What things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, Jeez. beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Darkroom. 
Too bad I don't have a gun anymore. Yes, that's the solution. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit that like that. That to another well, universe thing. Blackwell would be in big trouble. At least you let me take that money to pay Frank off. That's in every... Don't remind me. I just want him off your back. Our back. I know. You place. should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not gonna be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too... Yeah. Oh no. Not the bird. That poor little bird has been trapped in here. Oh, this seems genius. Ah, uh, see, I know how you work, game. Fly, be free. Because it would have slammed straight into the window otherwise. Close it so it doesn't get back in. Okay. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you, ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Sorry. Because everything from the first episode made me think you were bad, but maybe you aren't as bad. <laughs> so hang on, hang on. So that was last time, buying the tickets, managed to get tickets, okay. Yeah, that's the jump. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Wow. I've just realized what out of the loop went. If he's gone, like he's probably finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Lockers. Without the car there, it's not blocking that area. So let's see if we can find out. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey David, what you hiding? Is this the lock? It was either one seven one seven or seven one seven one. It repeated itself anyway. I think it was seven one seven one. Yes, I hey. knew that number would be important. Coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. What? <laughs> That's confusing. That. 
that's a really good photo, <laughs> considering. Pay up. Um, can't see what the other part says. We got that. The score. Back to Chloe now. No, not yet. I'm looking around here more. Nothing to worry about leaving clues or anything. Should I have signed the petition? Blackwell sure isn't safe and private anymore. Oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. At least oh. he has one weird fan. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. They fired him? When did they fire? Did I miss that? Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts too. Yeah. That, that makes sense, a way to tie him to Nathan. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. I would unscrumple that for you if I could, David. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? I would write and he wiped some sort of... Either Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. The latter. I... Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff too. I feel like with the amount of surveillance cameras that are actually in place in black. It's well, amazing how much drama this living room has seen. Um Neath. Oh the whales are st the whales still have Those poor whales are like Beached angels. What is going on here? Like one of the cameras saw whatever Nathan was up to, David then covered it up and his dad did something in return Ouch. to David. Oof. David isn't any different from me when he's looking at those family photos. The only issue is those are all Chloe. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. Now let's go find out what Nathan is hiding in his room. We have to be extra careful. Max, now it's time for Nathan Prescott to be afraid of us. I really wish that was true. Grant and Samuel just sitting here. Cool. Interesting. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. And actual files here. 
I can imagine. Max, <laughs> are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know, lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some <laughs> pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. Oh, shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Also, one of the most entertaining conversations, I feel like. Um, Let's and it's see all if I about find out where is. type thing. Okay, so who would know where Nathan is? Daniel's an observer. He can see people hey, coming Daniel. up. You look bummed out. Are you alright? Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. I'm a wannabe artist. How do you figure that one out? You're not here to be a photographer. That's my gig. Look at that sketch you did of me. Incredible. And that's your art. Your gift. <sighs> I do feel better now. You are good, Max. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott? Oh, I heard a rumor he's actually suspended. Yeah, but he's still gotta be on campus. That explains why he looked so pissed off when I saw him leaving campus a few moments ago. Knew it. Knew it. Samuel's the observer. Are you going to the end of the world party tonight? It will be if I go, man. People here push me into lockers, not dance floors. Okay. Fine. Screw the Vortex Club. They don't deserve you, Daniel. They don't deserve anything. I mean... What do they actually do for Blackwell, huh? You I don't actually know what they are. Screw them. Let's talk know. later. Okay, Daniel? Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. It's been so long since I've seen you. Because you're way too cool for us now, Chloe. Way too much shit going on now. I go on the class. What the hell? So I hear. Any word at all, Rachel? What the hell? I wish. What is that? Oh god. That's amazing. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Sad. Makes me mad. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. Okay. I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. Th that must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Blackwell. <laughs> you say Miss Gant? I keep thinking that Rachel Amber has a few answers. If we can find her. If Rachel wants to be found. Do you think she's alive? She'll always be alive in our hearts. Sometimes that's all we have left. But... Max, all I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Rachel Lambert is waiting too. You're not as weird as you're made out to be. I'm sorry. I better get going now. I'm a change isn't real my ass. I think everything is changing here. 
As a scientist, I'm fascinated. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Who are you speaking to, Brooke? Hey, Brooke. How are you? Considering what happened to Kate, I could be better. Are you okay? I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? Ouch. I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. <laughs> oh, purely for the satisfaction, I want to go to the I don't think the Tobango will ever give up any secrets to us. What's with the care? How do I look at the care? I want to look at the camera. Let's take a photo of that. One photo. For posterity. Okay, where did these rocks come from? This is too Blair Witch for me. It is a bit weird. Chloe, 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 Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. <laughs> now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. Mission Impossible time. Cool. So I'm going to end this episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe for more like it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Um, we're going to break into into the, the dorms and do some investigating.